Alright, I'm going to make a quick video that explains how an office telephone um, works. So, first, this is a Meridian 2616 phone. Um, and I'll start, I'll, the way I'll explain this video, it'll, I'll, I'll start at the phone and I'll work all the way, all the way back to the, the PBX. So, this phone is physically wired to a jack. And as the jack says, 15B W O, 15B W G, and all that those letters mean is uh, the cable pairs are white and orange, and for this one, uh, they've been identified in the wall as being white and green. So, from there, before I take you on a guided tour, I'll just show you on paper. So we know that uh, it's 15. B white and green. It's going to run through the walls and into a closet. And from that closet, it's going to run into our, which we call the bell room or the PBX room, which is where all the cables all come together. So I'll bring this paper along with me. Um, and now, as far as troubleshooting, some tools that you'd want to have. Um, this for example is the Fluke Networks uh, toner and probe kit. Um, what's nice about this is that it works for telephone and ethernet as well as coax and it comes with some gator clips so that you can set the toner not just on the drop but anywhere along the line. So that's the toner and this is the probe this will detect the signal that this toner sends on the line which you'll see why that comes in handy this is an older version of a toner um, so you could connect this the same way this works and you could use this probe to detect it and I'll just show you real quick the way it works is it sets out a tone on the line and if I tone, turn my probe on the closer, if you can hear that sound, the closer I get to the actual line, it starts to make that uh, that tone. So what's good about that is I plug my toner in here, and then I go into the first wiring closet, and I can find where in the huge panel um, where that cable is that came from here. So I'll install my... Um, toner now so it's as simple as that just plugging it in if you got this one I always put it to the uh, speaker setting so that's working right now um, another thing that you're gonna want is this it's called a fix punch and I'll show you where that comes in handy this is for installing cables into the Bix panel so I'll need this and this go for a quick tour. 